Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope everything's good with you guys. So a few weeks ago, I posted on my community page that the first 30 people that will follow me on my Patreon page will get the opportunity to send me a message with their song and video of choice that they would want me to react on. And today I'm going to be reacting on one of those requests. But this person was the very first person that after the post that I did, this was the first person who actually followed me straight away. And his name is I hope I say this correctly. If I don't, I'm so sorry. Sini Herskovitz. Here is his text. So this is what he sent to me. So best power metal band in 30 years and they outplay man backwards and in heels. Welcome to the Love Bites Wolfpack. And send me the link. Peace, sister. Love the channel. Thank you so much. Sini, I'm so sorry if I'm not saying your word correctly, but I'm so grateful and thankful for you and your request. If you want me to react on your chosen song or performance of that song, a specific video, a specific performance, your choice, then please go on my Patreon page now, follow me and send me a message with your chosen song. And put the link, please, the same way as Siani did. So it's very easy for me to find. And I'm going to be reacting on your chosen songs as well. But you need to do it as fast as possible. Because only the first 30 people will get the opportunity for now. Later on, maybe more. But for now, the first 30 people. So there are still spots open. Please go and do it. Today I'm going to be reacting on a song by Sini Herskovitz Choice which is Love Bites, Swan Song. Apparently, it's going to be live. So if you want to see my reaction, then please keep on watching.
did not expect that at all. Okay, let's see who they are. Love Bites is a Japanese all-female heavy metal band formed in 2016 by former The Strohs members Miho and Haruna. Its lineup currently consists of Haruna on drums. She was absolutely stunning. Midori and Miyako on guitar and Asami on vocals. After singing to Victor Entertainment, the group released both their de debut EP and their first album in 2017, The Love Bites EP and Awakening from Ebbs before performing their first overseas concerts at the end of the year. With another EP and album released in 2018, Battle Against Damnation and Clockwork Immortality, Love Bites quickly garnered international attention and won that year's Metal Hammer Golden Gods Awards for Best New Band. They released their third album, Electric Pontogram, in 2020, and it reached number 9 on the Oricon chart, becoming their highest charting to date. After releasing the EP Glory Glory to the World in March 2021, bassist Miho left the band in August and Lobites began a temporary hiatus. I'm actually really shocked that I haven't heard nothing, absolutely nothing about this band. So let's start by saying that when I started to play this video, I was shocked of what I saw because I didn't know what to expect. When I see four females in a heavy metal band, I'm so for it. Absolutely loved the idea of the costumes, so the dresses, it looks so exquisite, so rich. And then girls come out and just, you know, does their heavy metal thing. Amazing in the sense of, you know, creativity. For me, when I hear Swan, I don't know, it, the ballet, you know, ballet comes up, something exquisite, something rare, something beautiful. And I, I feel like they really presented that by their costumes. I thought it was brilliantly, just loved that whole part. I loved also how it started with piano and ended with it. I thought it was so fitting. Now I'm going to move on a bit more on the musical singing part of the song. I absolutely adored the drummer. I thought she was so strong and powerful. The same with guitar players. I thought it was exceptional. One thing that if you have seen my channel previously, I'm not the biggest fan of heavy metal. I'm open minded. I'm going to continue watching videos. There have been maybe few videos that were considered to be heavy metal, but I actually really enjoyed it. So I'm going to start right here. I wasn't the biggest fan of this song. They're really talented and I'm so happy that I saw it. It was something so new to me. <sighs> but there was one thing that personally I can't get over it. And that is going to be an issue for me. I'm continuously watching this band. I know it's an individual thing. It's definitely don't come after me. If you do, I don't care. It is my opinion and you have your own opinion. And music is so unique that either you're going to love it or you're going to hate it. For me personally, number one, I'm not a heavy metal fan, but that's okay. Like I have, like I said before, I have seen few videos where I actually really enjoyed it. So fortunately, this wasn't one of those videos that I enjoyed. I enjoyed parts of it, but the main thing that I did not enjoy, which pretty much destroys the whole thing, is her voice. She has such a unique and powerful voice, which is beautiful. I admire that. I, I acknowledge that. I hear it like it's it's so unique and I like all respects to her beautiful just not for me her tone especially when she started to go up and up her tone started to annoy me a bit and it may be you know sounds harsh but for me personally I love more deeper tones than higher pitch tones it's just my opinion. It, it sounded absolutely 
like her voice control absolutely stunning like so many people would love that and i bet they do just for me personally i don't like her voice with this mixture of i don't know just maybe i need to listen to two more songs from theirs and i definitely will because I like to accept challenge. I want to see will my opinion change because it has happened before. So I wouldn't be surprised if this would happen to me with this band as well. You know, talking currently about this specific performance and right now, I I, I didn't enjoy that much. Like, and when she was on the top, you know, singing the top notes, it's such a hard song and I'm not saying that she cannot sing like don't get me wrong just started to annoy me so much I don't know just the tone I think it's the tone for me because I like deeper tones and I, I like uh, I don't know just not my cup of tea but to say that it wasn't an interesting experience would be a lie I'm so grateful and thankful for you Sini Herskovitz, I hope it's correctly. Thank you so much, so much for sending me your song slash performance that you wanted me to react on. I'm so grateful and thankful for your support. Like seriously, thank you so much. I'm so interested as well for the rest of you guys on YouTube. What did you thought about this? Have you heard about them? Do you like them? Have you do you listen to it? Like I, I'm so intrigued by what you guys think about this please let me know down below comments what are your thoughts on this performance or the band itself as well as if you do know the band please please put down below in comments which songs from this band i should react on next i want to do at least two more to see if my opinion will be the same or it's going to change because it, it can happen it has happened before so i wouldn't be surprised um, so yeah, guys, if you want me to react on your chosen song once again, then please go on my Patreon page, follow me right now and send me a message of your chosen song. Do it now. My Patreon link is on my main YouTube channel page, as well as I'm going to put my, my Patreon link uh, down below as well. So you can go straight away and, and do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this reaction video, then please like my video, subscribe to my channel, and until my next video. Bye guys.